There's been a lot of news about popes lately. I don't know too much about popes. They're always old men and they dress funny. They bless people and they pray for peace. And if you get to meet a pope, they call that having an audience with him. So he's blessing and praying and dressing funny and having audiences, which is a pretty full schedule for an old guy. If they let a younger man be pope, maybe he'd work in other things like playing tennis or square dancing. Not too long ago, one of the popes retired, and I give him a lot of credit for that. He was like 85 or something, and he knew he'd had it. He didn't hang on like Joe Paterno, who was also around 85 and pretending to be a college head football coach, and I hope you remember how that turned out. 85-year-olds got no business pretending to be anything. You gotta know when it's time to walk away. The Pope did, and the Catholics got themselves a new Pope. I wasn't paying too much attention to that, but I was somewhere and there was a TV on and there he was, coming out onto a balcony wearing his funny clothes and blessing people. And I looked, and looked again, and son of a bitch, I knew the guy. I mean, I knew him personally. He looked different, being older and wearing funny clothes, but it was him all right. Back in the day, as they used to say, we used to hang out, as they say, we used to hang out. We weren't best buds, but I knew the guy. I checked an old notebook and found his name, and there was a phone number. I wondered if it was still good. I wanted to give him a call and congratulate him. So I punched out the number and let it ring. Someone answered, and I said, Hello? I thought I could hear breathing. I said, JB? Whoever it was hung up. I had to give it another try. I got the ring and someone answered and this time spoke. Who is this? A voice said. JB, I said, is that you? How did you get this number? You gave it to me, I said. It's me, JB. Beans. He hung up. I figured third time had to be the charm, so I called again. He answered and said, do you know what time it is? Oh, I said, sorry about that. I wasn't thinking. JB, is that you? Yes, he said. And he said, listen, you can't call me like this. I laughed at that because, obviously, I had. Way to go, JB, I said. Props, dude. You're the fucking Pope. That's one way to put it, he said. I hadn't heard that. Congratulations, man, I said. That is awesome. That is one very heavy promotion. It's a big honor, he said. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? Try some new threads. Same old beans. It's good to hear from you, but you can't call me like this. Oh, come on, JB. What, are you all fluffed out now that you're the Pope? In a manner of speaking, he said, yes. Bullshit, I said. I know you. We go back. Things change. I'm going to have to hang up, he said. Please don't call back. This is one hell of a way to treat an old pal, I said. Aren't you even going to bless me? Sure, I'm blessing you right now. Really? Yes. You're doing the, yes, you're blessed. Hey, you don't have to worry. I'll never tell any of that. I would appreciate that, he said. We were kids. I will pray for you. Pray for peace, I said. Yes, that too. It's good to hear you, buddy. You're the man. It's nice to know one of the old gang made it big. Thank you. Now please, okay, okay, I get it. Do you still see Ricardo and Mauricio? Sometimes. Not any uh, anymore. Oh, too bad. Well, if you do, tell them I said hello. I'll do that. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye, JB. I, I mean your holiness. He hung up. Wow. I can't get over it. This guy I used to hang out with, and now he's the Pope. Like they say, it's funny how things work out. Perfect example, right here.